watch the Super Bowl? No. no. What is that? Oh, yeah. I smoked the Super Bowl. Yeah. Who in here smokes weed? Just me. This guy with the hat knew it, called it. I love to smoke a big bowl and watch intervention. Who's with me? Right? It's so funny when you're high. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You get baked, you watch a woman chugging Listerine while her kids are screaming in the next room, and you think, that bitch has got a problem. I read this article about two mixed martial artists drank psychedelic tea and then one ripped the heart out of the other. You're correct to laugh, that's funny. Um, that's exactly why you should smoke weed. You never get high and hurt someone. You know, worst case scenario, I got baked and I was like, I want to rip my friend's heart out. I'd be like, yeah, but that's all the way over there. <laughs> it's kind of becoming a thing now. Sometimes I'll take a huge poo and it'll look like a big brown dick and then I'll get super proud of myself like, yeah, I could take one. You know? Oh, they didn't like it. They didn't like it. Guys, some guys don't like that joke. I did a show recently and some guy came up to me after the show and he said, I don't like that joke because I don't like to think that girls poo. And I thought, wow, it's going to blow your mind when you figure out what a period is. All right, ladies. <laughs> I recently read that a female lumberjack is called a lumber Jill, which I think is super interesting because I always thought they would just be called lesbians. <laughs> We repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which I'm super excited about. But if I had it my way, completely gay military. Think about it. You send an entirely gay military into Afghanistan. Bravo does a special on it. They call it Queer Eye for the Shi'i. That's going to be that's gonna be a hit. I like it when people don't laugh. They just go, that's funny. That's going to make me not eat bread uh, That's going to do a lot. Just living my dream up here, guys. Welcome. I don't know if you noticed, but Bloomberg has got rid of a lot of the graffiti on the subway trains. Woo! Yeah, I'm excited too, because I know after I spend $104 to ride the train, and it's a half an hour delayed, and there's a man masturbating in front of me. I'm always like, will someone do something about this graffiti? <laughs> women say they've been sexually assaulted on the train. And when I read that statistic, I thought, 60%? That seems low. Um, <laughs> happens to me more. In fact, it's gotten to the point now where if it doesn't happen, I don't feel pretty. <laughs> no one's dry humped me on the end train today. I must be bloated. <laughs> I mentioned the Super Bowl. I didn't watch it, but I watched the halftime show. Did you guys all watch that? Yeah. Fergie has had a ton of plastic surgery, right? She had her nose done, she had her boobs done, she had her penis removed. <laughs> or as I like to call it, her dirty bit. Um, she's so plastic. When the world is over, it's going to be cockroaches, Twinkies, and Fergie. Cockroaches and Fergie fighting over the last Twinkies. It's going to be beautiful. Did you guys read that uh, thing that Billy Ray Cyrus wrote about how Hannah Montana ruined his family? This is like the thing in the news today. Miley Cyrus is having a hard time. Her, fa her parents are getting divorced. Her mom cheated on her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus, with Brett Michaels. Wow. In the dark, who can tell the difference, right? She likes a mullet. She likes a silky... <laughs> Silky mullet. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? <laughs> Why? On what level? For the girl, I mean. Oh, for Miley? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it's sad. I'm working on a parody song. Uh, <laughs> hands up, smoking my bum. No one's gonna be okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna smoke a little salvi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she liked it. She liked it. You know what joke I hate? We could never have a woman president, because once a month we'll be at war with every other country, and there's going to be a chocolate shortage. If I were president, I would execute any man who told that joke, and I would blame it on my period. <laughs> Am I right, ladies?
He's dating. Just kidding. I have a gay brother. His name is Joseph, but I call him Homosif. <laughs> he thought he could escape the nickname, started going by Jose. Luckily, he got around that, started calling him Jose Quirvo. Uh, then he started going by Joey. Now I call him Faggot. Uh, okay, I'm going to end on a rap. You guys want to hear a rap? Yeah. My rap name lately, Queef Latifa. Uh, <laughs> Dicky Massage. Uh, the Notorious VAG. I've got a million of them. All right. I don't have a beat, but there's a lot of black people, so I know we're going to stay on beat. Sometimes I do this rap for audiences full of white people, and it goes horribly wrong. All right. So can I get a stop, stop, clap, stop, stop. Thank you.